artist, today we are going to create story quilts, very similar to those that Faith Ringel created. She used her quilts to tell stories of her African history and her personal stories of life growing up. And she used bright colors, shapes, and patterns in her quilts. And today we're going to do the same. I want you to collect materials that you would like to use. I'm going to give you some standards to go by, but I want you to be creative in the materials you use, the story you tell, and the shapes that you use to complete your quilt. I have created several different examples to give you some ideas and help you get started. This first one, you can see that I created it using scrapbooking materials. I cut out some shapes, placed them around the edges, and made sure that they all fit before I started gluing them down. For my story, I used a photograph of my goat, Darla. For my next example, I used markers and crayons. I drew out my shapes, spaced out my patterns, and created a border around my quilt first. Then I started drawing my picture to tell my story. On this story quilt, I tell the story of my little farm and how it all began with a white goat and some chickens. For my last example, I used fabric, construction paper, and paints to create a quilt based on sunflowers. While you're creating your quilt, please keep in mind that I want you to tell a story in the middle of your quilt I want you to be creative when choosing your materials that you include in your quilt and use shapes around the edge of the quilt to create a pattern. Have fun, be creative, and I can't wait to see your artwork on Artsonia.